She thinks my tractor's sexy. It really turns her on. I see her staring at me while I'm chugging along. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to part two, the video number three of the Moab prep adventure we got going on here. So as far as my portion, today's video is going to be uh, part two of the trailer. What I'm doing to help get the trailer finished up. So right now I've been working on the last couple hours. Um, getting the old welds, everything that I had as far as I had the fenders and stuff on. Getting the old welds knocked off. Uh, cleaning everything up. Getting to where we can make some marks. Uh, well... The gentleman that's going to be welding these fenders on make it easier for him to line everything up to get the fenders and stuff back on uh, so I just now finished all that so real quick if you're just tuning in uh, for people that's already been here you know the drill subscribe uh, hit this like button hit the notification bell that lets you know uh, all the videos that we've got as soon as we put them up uh, keep you up to date keep it flowing keeping the algorithm we appreciate everybody that has uh, interacted with us continues to follow us uh, what's going on I will update as much as I can throughout this trip um, so continuing on with the trailer stuff just making that short and sweet but I got this side knocked out I got everything cut off I gotta clean the driveway and stuff real good So far, I have not got to do the trailer lighting yet, or as far as the wiring. I did pick these up. And so these were the little boxes that I was talking about. So I'm going to weld those on. And then get those to bolt in there. Probably put those back here. So we'll see how that goes. But as far as the trailer lighting goes I accidentally threw away the instructions of what wire is what on the lights themselves the big lights the small lights is no problem i still have the instructions luckily i was able to get on the tractor supply website and see some questions and answers and somebody asked so uh getting the fenders on getting the wiring and stuff light lit up uh get the, the lights and stuff done the trailer and all that should be ready to rock and roll so next step will be probably on the next video will be uh some more maintenance on the truck and stuff i've got a few parts or whatnot that i'm going to put on it to try and you know add a little extra security i got to looking the other night it's almost 1700 miles one way um hopefully we're not affected by the fuel shortage or whatever that's been going on people have been acting stupid running to the pumps because the news told them you know there's a problem for like a day or two so hopefully we can make it out there and not have any issues um another thing is is i think it's the the bridge on 40 it's crossing the mississippi river uh, i think i got that right they found two really big cracks and see looking at the pictures they found really two really big bricks so hopefully that doesn't hinder us uh, at that point on 40 of getting across there i know they have provisions uh detours to get around all that but i'm not really sure how that's going to go hopefully i'm traveling at night when i get around that and i really won't hit that much traffic so we'll see i'll let you guys know i'll keep you up to date on everything that's going on but for right now we're going to keep on trucking with the, uh, the whole trailer prep right here so so right now I'm going to hook up to it with the truck. We got all my wheels and stuff on. My lug nuts tight as I need them right now. I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna pressure wash this thing. Get some of this junk off of it. Got a lot of grease, degreaser, whatever. So I'm gonna go over it and spray it off real good. And then we're gonna go deliver it. Wheel. She's all cleaned up. 
It's probably the first time I've actually watched this trailer. Put me some degreaser down. Man, I'd really like to sandblast those wheels and get them repainted. I'd actually like to repaint the whole trailer. But, first trip down the road. Not going far, but if it don't blow up between now and then, that's a good sign. So, here we go. Well, this will be the final time that you see it with no fenders. Got her dropped off. That old buddy here hooked me up, get these fenders on, get my light boxes on, and then I'll be back tomorrow to pick it up after work. And then I'll get all the wiring and stuff done. Hey, what you got there, buddy? For boat, sheath, knife, all that good stuff. Hell yeah. So we got a uh, we got plans. We got a second channel. Uh, that little knife, little doohickey here, is pretty cool. If you guys are interested about it, keep a lookout. We have a second channel where we're going to do uh, guns and knives and different type of things that we find different from this channel. Um, so I'll drop a link somewhere up here, and you can check it out. It's a new channel. We'll have some stuff posted probably, let's say, after we get back from Utah. But, right now, we've got the fenders on the trailer. Short bus shouty here hooked me up. Gang, gang. You want to tell them why you ain't going? That's a sensitive subject, man. Sensitive subject. Yeah. Fuck that job. I said that, not him. Don't fire him. Yeah. <laughs> so, we go get these painted up. I laid a little bit of primer on here to see what it was going to look like. I got some paint and stuff. As you can tell, I already got a little bit of surface rust on them. But, get those painted, get my lights done, and then the trailer will be ready to rip. So, last look at the fender before... I'll start laying some paint. I'm going to paint the insides. I got the wheels and everything knocked off. I'm going to go ahead and knock out both sides. I've got the wheels over there with some aircraft strippers. So I'm going to strip those down and get some of the grime off them. I might paint them. I don't know. But here we go. So we got the mass majority of the lighting and stuff done. So let's see. Running lights. Got the side markers. Might add another one. Show you the tail lights. This one has a tag light for it. This side don't. Hit that brake pedal. Bam! Got the corner lights here on the side. Need a few more. And let's see. Turn signals. Turn signals. And reverse. So this is a pretty cool feature. Reverse lights on the trailer. Never had these before, but that will come in handy. Especially if you got something on the trailer that's blocking the tail lights. So, tomorrow, let's see. So, I started painting on the fender a little bit. As you can see, I got the primer and everything done. But, I stopped painting the fender itself. So I can hurry up and get the lighting done. This one I hadn't laid down too much. I hadn't laid down any black paint. But I got the primer. Turns out pretty good. One big can will cover both. With a little bit left over. So I'm going to clean them up. I got the wheels soaking. 
going to try to paint them before we roll out. Alrighty guys, so the final product here. I was going to paint the wheels, but I stripped them with the aircraft stripper, got them sprayed off. They don't look half bad. You got quite a few clear coats uh, or uh, coats of spray paint, black gloss paint on the fenders. I got my wiring secured. I think I might add another one of these up here somewhere to keep from accidentally dragging the ground. But and I'll come back with some loom. I don't have any loom, but for right now I'll just put electrical tape around it. Uh, I'll come back and do some loom for the wiring. Now I know just for a temporary period of time, you know, putting this back together, I'm proud of it, you know. Put the lights on and the fenders, got everything kind of cleaned up. It's not a new trailer, but I'd say with a good coat of paint, you know, this thing would look new. Um, I might add a couple more lights back here in the back before I leave. Somebody's excited to get the trailer back. Yep. So I'm going to use this to end out this little episode today so trailers done trucks done got less than four days um, I still have yet to work on the Maverick get it cleaned up I went to the gas station yesterday morning and the uh, windshield lost power so I gotta take that apart and see what's up with that maybe a loose loose connection somewhere so but anyways the end of this episode thank you to everybody that's been following along uh like subscribe comment merch link below you know the drill hit them up peace out guys